Well, some parks in Pitt County will soon be getting major upgrades thanks to a grant focused on improving people's quality of life. Our Hojang Ru learned more about the developments and joins us live with details. Hojang. Courtney here at Lake Lemma Park is one of the three parks in the county chosen for improvements covered by the state grant. While the city of Greenville was also chosen for the state grant to fund parks and recreational services about a week ago, and now those efforts can be seen countywide as well. In Pitt County, resident Nathan Wright's backyard lies Lake Glenwood. Around this lake, there will be major construction and renovation soon, thanks to the Accessible Parks Grant. Bright says this is exciting news for him and his family. And that's something excited to look forward to with all these kids that we have here. And I know that's something they're going to be looking forward to in their backyard, basically. The park is expected to add features like sidewalks, walking trails, and picnic areas with better accessibility for people with disabilities. Just just waiting, can't wait for it. We can actually walk, um, walk to it. And that's going to make it a lot easier for them. The Pitt County Office Park Recreation Complex will also have major improvements with the grants totaling almost a million dollars. Janice Gallagher, the Pitt County manager, says this will pave the way for the county's new parks and recreation department created on July 1st. We heard through the pandemic loud and clear that this community wanted to see greater outdoor parks and recreation opportunities. Pitt County Office Park Recreation Complex will see the construction of a gymnasium and recreational facilities. State, the Parks and Recreation Trust Fund um, and the state grantors have recognized the value in eastern North Carolina. Gallagher added that the county staff are also discussing with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission to bring the county's first accessible aquatic facility, such as kayak launch and a fishing pier at Lake Glenwood. And according to Gallagher, the Parks and Recreation Department is planning to build what they call a passive park in rural areas that flood often, which can improve the lives of the people without costing a lot. Reporting live from Pitt County, Ho Jung Ru, WITN News. Right, a lot of exciting changes on the way. Thanks, Ho Jung. And Gallagher says they also expect to make improvements to Alice Keene District Park, but it wasn't chosen for any grant funding.